What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm doing me I'm doing me I'm living life right now, man Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jay, aka Crohn's Boy from Crohn'sBoy.com Just making a video talking about why I think Crohn's is the best thing that's ever happened to me And when I say the best thing that's ever happened to me I mean hands down the best thing that's ever happened to me you may be asking yourself, why would this guy make, make such a bold statement about such a bad disease that the best thing that's ever happened to him? Well, I can tell you this. When you overcome your disease, we'll have a conversation then, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that your your opinion will be relatively similar to mine. You know, And I think for anybody that's overcome any type of disease or experienced a life-altering event or a near-death experience, we'll have, this, have a similar opinion. You know, The main thing that I've learned after overcoming this disease is life is precious it really is precious time is indeed luck you don't know how much time you have you don't know when your your expiry date is approaching you don't know nothing the best you can do is just say hey you're gonna show up and make the best out of the time you have available when I take back when I look back in the past and say how I was before I was the kind of guy that was you know what my I guess my version of success or happiness always seemed to be around materialistic things. You know, I understood that other things were important, but it was materialistic things, such as I want to have lots of money, especially for myself, my family. I was from a single-parent family. We grew up in a rough area. You want to call it the ghetto, you want to call it whatever. Bottom line is we were poor and we didn't have a lot. So anybody in that kind of situation, and for the most part of the situation, is I wanted the American dream. I wanted the nice house, the nice car, the nice things. The 50 inch plasma TV hanging on my wall. I wanted it. You know, for the most part, is I got it. And when I was young, I'm 27 now, but when I was younger, I was chasing all that. Like I said, I've had lots of nice cars. I've had bikes. I bought a house at a young age. So I can't complain. I've done a lot of that. But the funny thing is, before, before experiencing this disease and overcoming the disease, that's all I was doing is I was chasing. Chase, 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 chase. I'd buy one thing and think about, okay, I'd be happy for a little bit, I got a car, but then after after a while, the happiness sort of dissipated and I wasn't happy anymore, and I was thinking, okay, what do I need to buy to give me that happiness? And I'm sure for anybody that has experienced some, something similar to me, is chasing, you want to call it, you know, chasing money or chasing the buck, you realize the more you chase, you know, the less happy you are, it gives you this temporary feeling of happiness, but at the end of the day, you need, you need to buy something else or do something else to make you happy, you know, and I, and I learned that, you know, it's, it really is chasing the buck or chasing materialistic things, really is like chasing, it's like chasing the wind, you never catch it, you know, you're chasing this happiness based on BS, you know, you're, you're never going to be happy, you know, it's almost like the person chasing the gold at the end of the rainbow, you know, good luck, you never catch it, we all see those commercials when we were young, you know, why not try to be the person that just loves the rainbow for what it is? Who cares about the gold? Just love the rainbow. You know what I'm going to tell you a little bit later in the video is that's what I become. I become the guy that loves the rainbow. Screw chasing the gold, you know? You know, so if, if I can definitely give anybody an advice, give anybody advice, you know, to change that up a little bit. Look at things differently. You know? and I think the changing point for me is definitely when I actually said to myself, What's important? What's going to make me happy? And when I say what's important, spend the time. Grab a piece of paper and say, what's happiness to me? Where do I want to be? What does my happiness include? And when I wrote that list, my, my list didn't consist of having a nice car and having these plasma TVs and having all this money. You know, at the end of the day, what it, what it consisted of is saying, you know what? Having good relationships with my friends and my family. Experiencing new things, you know? new people, places, you know, giving back to people, helping people, you know, you wouldn't have heard me say that before because I was more of a selfish guy looking out for myself back in the day, maybe that was just the way that I was taught, or just learn based on reality TV, and you see this, we, we know what people's happiness are based on, this reality TV things, but at the end of the day, you know what, giving back to people, you know, I would have never done something like having Collinsboy.com or giving back to people and helping people. But it's been the most rewarding thing that I've ever done. It really has. So, you know, think about what's important to you. I know that experiencing new things is super important to me. Before, I would I, I'd do some new things, but I, I wasn't the kind of person. I was a little bit scared, intimidated to try things. The truth of the matter is, you know what? If 
if you don't throw yourself out there and just expose yourself to new things, you'll never experience new things. Cause this, this fear of failing, you know, I threw that out the window and said, you know what, hey man, what the heck, I'm just going to throw myself out there and see what happens, experience it, you know. So if you're right, if, if after you're done watching this, make sure you write down and say what's important to you. You know, what I can tell you about me now, the kind of person I am now. I'm the person that doesn't hesitate to do the things I want. You know, I experience new things. You know, whether I've tried skydiving, bungee jumping, you know, traveling. You know, whether it be going to the Caribbean, driving around the United States, you know, checking out Florida, California, seeing different parts of Canada, going to Hawaii, surfing. All this kind of stuff, you know, it's awesome. Getting to make these videos help people, you know, it's awesome. You know, and whether you see a beautiful girl, and you know, I have, I have the luck of saying, you know what, I have one of the best women in the world. I'm sure you know if you care about somebody, you know you might line one of the best women in the world. But I have an awesome one. I have someone that really makes my life better. You know, she makes me want to be a better person, and she makes, she's fun. She really makes it all worth it. You know, for that, no, I'm, just, I'm grateful. You know, I really do live an awesome life. And I'm not going to say I'm perfect. I make mistakes just like everybody else, you know. So we're not perfect. But for the most part, I live an awesome life. I do awesome things, you know. I'm always thinking of things that I can do to improve my life and, you know, try new things, you know. I know that this winter I want to try some things. I'd, I'd love to learn how to do Brazilian martial arts, and I'm like, that. I took martial arts when I was younger, but I want to experience more, and I want to commit to something else, and I want to take my salsa dancing to a new level, and, you know, try to compete with my girlfriend, because she's a pretty crazy dancer, you know, so I want to get back, get back into salsa and step it up a notch, you know, so what I can definitely say, I keep on saying that a lot, what I can definitely say, but, you know what? What is what? What's good that's come out of this Crohn's disease is you know what I, I have a lot more respect for my health. And, you know, pretty much for the second chance that I've been given, you know, I have a lot more respect for things. You know, I started Crohn's Disease dot com. I've helped more people than I could have ever imagined. I remember starting this site thinking, okay, I'm gonna grab all this information together and hopefully it will help some people. You know, and it's been pretty crazy because it's helped so many people. I got countless responses from people saying, you know what. I checked your site out about a year and a half to two years ago, and you know what, now I'm symptom magnetic free, you know, getting YouTube responses from little girls talk, uh, well, one, one, one response in general comes to mind is, a few weeks ago, a little girl sent me a message saying that, because of my site and the information provided on my site, she's now, she's now able to play tennis and to play soccer, and she got to attend her, one of her dances, you know what I mean, and you know what, all that work is worth just helping that one person, and it may, it may seem like it doesn't make a huge difference to anybody to step out there and make a change and do something for people, but I can tell you it spreads like wildfire. It really does help people. You know, yeah, it's, it's been a great thing, and there's been so many good things in my life. And Whether I, at this point in time, I'm, I'm considering making this my career, and i got to find out a way to do that. But I'd, I'd love to help people with health, and I know Crohn's and colitis is probably not my passion. I do this because I've overcome the disease, so I'm familiar with it. But I think helping people overcome all types of diseases, especially a lot of the lifestyle diseases we suffer from currently, I think that's one of the things that I definitely want to do. Is I want to help people. I want to give people a second chance. And I want to show people. I want to get them to care and show them how important it is to pay for and to help people. You know, I, I, I don't know what made me root decide to do this site and decide to help people something made me do it so I'm not going to stop because I know it is my responsibility because a lot of people can say you know what I'm cured I'm just going to I'm going to do this and I'm going to go through my life without helping people but you really need to realize it is your responsibility to help people and I don't say that means give your whole life away but to really you know what do what you can to send people in the right direction whether it be sending them to a site like mine or sending them to a site that helped you you know because I know my approach or some of the things that I go over might not help everybody, you know. Maybe they have the potential to help everybody, but it's the common phrase, is different strokes, different folks. But at the end of the day, if you can just do something to better somebody's life, you know what? I don't I, For the most part, it's pretty much all good, you know. So do it, you know. Sorry if this video is, you know what I mean, I, my mind is so, my mind runs rapid. So to try to stay on focus and to stay from one point to another and keep everything in line is a little bit difficult for me. 
I have a pretty busy mind. Picture like you know a ten ten lane freeway. That's in my mind is going going rampant on a bunch on a highway. That's for sure. But you know what? What I can tell you now is if you're wa if you're watching this video, you know what? Sit down and if you can get anything from this video, think about what's important to you. What makes you tick? What do you want in life? You know, whether it be giving back to people, relationships, experience. Write them down. You know. You might not be cured of your disease yet or overcome your disease, but you have to start thinking like you have overcome your disease. And you know what? Believe that you can't overcome your disease because if you think you can or you can't, you're right either way. You know, so start believing you can do this and start thinking about what it's going to feel like to, to cure the disease. You know, people can look and say, oh, this crohnsboy.com, you know, or this Crohn's dude, you know, he's talking, he's, he's, he's so positive all the time, but you'll see, you'll see how positive you are. You know what I mean? Any naysayers, I don't care what you guys say about Crohn's disease not being curable or disease not being curable. Because, hey, you know what? I know it's curable. I know I can overcome this disease and I have overcome this disease. I'm doing freaking awesome right now. You know what I mean? To all you naysayers that say Crohn's disease is incurable, well, I can say I'm med free. You know what? Does this look like a guy that suffers from Crohn's disease? Check this out, baby. Check this out. Crohn's disease, man. I'm proud of this. Whatever you want to call it. I'm not a cocky, arrogant guy. I'm just, I'm just busting your balls and trying to be a comedian right now. But you know what? Take from this video. Life is precious. You know, do the things you want. You can overcome this disease. I'm assuring you. You know, you put the time and effort in. You can get where you want to be. You know what I mean? Do what you need to do. I'm gonna stop rambling right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any thing that I can add to these videos or you guys have any suggestions, questions, ideas to make a video about, drop me a line and I'll definitely do so. Peace. Hope you guys are all having a kick-ass day. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm living life right now, man. And this is what I'ma do till it's over. Till it's over. But it's far from over.